It's time for Move It Monday, and we are looking ahead to the Rose City's premier running event. People from all over the world will be taking part in the Portland Marathon this fall. Which means marathon training season is well underway. It's not easy training on your own, so if you need a little extra motivation, we got plenty of local running clubs, a great option to stay in mm -hmm. the race. Joining us now to talk about her group and to talk about this year's marathon, we have Natalia Barwegan, organizer of the FOPO Run Club. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you are over pounding the pavement in Foster Powell. I am. Yeah, well, tell us about the FOPO to. Run Club. Yeah. <laughs> so we started in 2017. Um, basically, I wanted to get to know my neighbors a little bit better and nice. my neighborhood. I was training for the Eugene Marathon mm -hmm. as well. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to run by myself in the winter. Like, yeah. <laughs> I need someone to help me and get Especially me out of bed. Especially on those long runs. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, when it's raining and uh -huh. it's cold. Uh -huh. um, so that's how we started. I just started meeting people at a bar and very quickly the neighbors started coming out. And now we meet every Wednesday at 630. It's like 50 to 60 of us that run around the neighborhood That's and awesome. then that is so get incredible. some drinks and get some food. Yeah, it's been really great. That is mm -hmm. so inspiring. What a good way to like be community outreach in your own neighborhood. Yeah, and you know, it's like it takes a village with truly. anything, with running, with support for anything that you're going through in life. Mm -hmm. And I think that FOPO Run Club has done a really amazing job yeah. with all those aspects. So it's been great. And, you know, coming coming from the perspective of someone whose primary motivator in most runs is food, it's great to have the run club. Mm -hmm. You get the run in and then you get the food and the drinks and you can enjoy, yes. you know, with the group that's been working hard. Well, the other reason that we wanted to, to spotlight the FOPO Run Club was you're also helping get crews together for this year's marathon. You know, if people aren't going to be in the marathon, and there's lots of ways that they can still be a part. Uh, talk about just some of the ways that the community can get into this race. Okay, so um, I think the big one, which is a little close to my heart, um, is our cheer stations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, basically the Portland Marathon came out with a contest a few years ago, and you could ask to be in a certain section of the course, and we decided to be over in the Selwood Bridge, like on the east side of the Selwood Bridge, mm -hmm. which is about mile four for the half and mile 14 for the full. Um, and we started that in 2019, and just a few of us came out with our signs and banners and some music, and we started cheering people on. And it's grown, and it's become a competition now. So. You can sign up, anybody can sign up, any club, any neighborhood association, and the winners get either $500 or $1,000. And FOPO has won three years in a row. Oh! Um, so here's your challenge. Yeah. See if you can beat the FOPO Run Club. Yeah. <laughs> Please, come on out. Um, and it's just been really great. I personally really love to pride myself in being the caboose of any run that I do. I have a lot of fun in the back, taking mm -hmm. my time, taking photos. And we've had the pleasure of escorting a lot of people through the Selwood Bridge. Like last year we had two veterans come through. They were the very last walkers. One of them was 81 years old with oh his gosh. daughter. And it was just so amazing to hear his stories on how he trained and cheering him on. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cool. Well, you know, some people like will consider running an individual sport because you can do it alone, but you really have created community out of this. Yeah. I think that's so inspiring. So who, how, where? I mean, I'm assuming you guys take all skill or lack thereof levels if we're oh talking gosh. about me. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I feel like anybody that can just put one foot in front of the other is a runner or a mm -hmm. walker or an athlete. Um, so for the marathon, if you want to join the cheer station, we always meet from 6 a.m. to noon. Um, over at the Selwood Bridge. And then if you want to run with us or walk with us at FOPO Run Club, it's every Wednesday at 6.30. Um, and we're really excited to be part of the Portland Marathon and other ways too. We're putting together a shakeout run, which is going to be on Saturday, October 4th, 5th, October 5th. Uh -huh. um, and we've partnered up with other run clubs and we just want to bring people out into the neighborhood, whether you're running or walking in the Portland Marathon to come yeah. and just shake out your body a little bit. Um, so that's going to start over by the convention center and we're going to run the waterfront the How day before fun. the marathon. I remember one of the things that got me into running distance races was going out to a marathon in my city at the time and just getting to see the, the vast variety of people that are out there running, walking, jogging, 
anyone can do this if you put your mind to it. And uh, to have the community rallying around you makes totally. it that much better. We love to cheer on the runners. So yeah. anytime that you see anybody wearing FOPO colors or your FOPO shirt, mm -hmm. we're very, very inclusive. It's going to be a great race. We're excited for it. And I tell you, thanks for getting us excited you. this morning. Yes. And you. best of luck in your training. I Thank know you, you got many members of the Run Club looking ahead to October. So if you want to learn more of the Portland Marathon happening Sunday, October 6th, register now at portlandmarathon.com and you can learn more about the cheer competitions as well. Also check out fopoRunClub.com. Yes.